A landlord cannot break into your rented premises. Oh my God, this is such a very, very tough decision for Ugandans everywhere. Either you're renting space for business or you're renting space for living purposes. The recent High Court decision by Justice Moses Sekana is going to affect everyone from the landlord to the tenant, but most especially, it affects you, the tenant, you, the person who is just like me or you, or the person behind the camera. Everyone is going to be affected by this decision because most people in Uganda are on the other end where they are renting either for business or for living space. Therefore, in today's video, I'm going to discuss everything concerning what the recent High Court decision by Justice Sekana has stated and how it affects everyone moving forward. Therefore, let's dive into what the Landlord and Tenancy Act says vis-a-vis -vis this decision and how it affects Ugandans moving forward. So, let's go. Welcome everyone to Legal News Daily. My name is Council Terry Kahuma, the usual host on this channel. And might I say, once again, Happy New Year. This new year has started off with a big bang. Like I said in the introduction, Justice Musa Sekana has given a recent decision that has stated that a landlord can now or has a right to enter and reclaim their rental premises if you have taken a very long period of time to be able to pay them back. Now, how does this affect Ugandans everywhere? Like I said, we are a population of about 49 to 50 million Ugandans, and this affects everyone because one way the other all of us are tenants either we are renting someone's space for business we are renting a living space so this also applies not only to the middle and low income earners but also you the high income earners because somewhere somehow you are renting someone's space for your business or for your law firm or whatever business that you have now how does this affect all of us we have what's called the landlord and tenant act of 2022 it was recently enacted because there were so many squabbles between landlords and tenants now many of you may have heard of what has been happening to medipal medipal hospital has been one of the most recent hospitals in Kampala City and it was renting just a building in Kololo just that's just below Hotel Protea and Four Points Hotel. Now Medipal was renting from Tembo Steels the building that's owned by Tembo Steels. Now Medipal was in rent areas of about 1.3 billion Uganda shillings. The owner of Tembo Industries or the owner of Tembo Steels came and then locked up the building. Now Medipal and Tembo have been at it for a very long time in terms of trying to squabble who is right, who is wrong. I told you I was going to pay the rent. I told you that you should pay me. So that kind of thing. That's why the Landlord and Tenant Act of 2022 comes into play. Now, in the recent decision that was given by Justice Musa Sekana, for many of you may not know, Justice Musa Sekana is the judge of the High Court and is one of the most respected judges in this country. Now, the case that he gave this ruling on is not about Table Steels and Medipal. This is a case between Francis Drake Lovega who is a common businessman in Uganda and a lady called Nalo Vega. Now, Nalo Vega rented the spaces of or rented a, a space for her business from Drake Francis Lovega. Now, it is stated that she was in about rent areas of about 2.3 million and above. Francis Drake Lovega and Ruth Nalo Vega had entered into a tenancy agreement where Ruth was renting for her business what's called Nyonye Traders or they called it a farm which is Nyonye Traders. Now she had she had been in rent areas for six months. Many of you may not know what rent areas are but rent areas means that you are owing the landlord an, a considerable amount of money. Areas basically means that you are in default of paying rent. So Ruth Nalovega was in rent areas for about six months and she had not paid Francis Drake Lovega for about six months. Now, I, according to what was stated in the fact, it should be noted that I think Mr. Drake Lovega had been trying to call Nalovega so many times. He had been asking for his rent and she had not paid his rent for a long time. So what he did, he just went and broke into the shop where the place where she was renting, which is his building, and then he just removed her things and then put in a new tenant. Now, later on, Ruth Nalovega came and then told Mr. Lovega that, you know what? You have removed my things. You've entered into my premises without letting me know because I'm renting your place. I believe that if I've given you money, you should be able to allow me my right to privacy. Now, this rental space is now mine. So, Mr. Drake Francis Lovega removed all of her things and then entered into her premises. She came rioting and told him that I was about to pay your rent, but now you're removing my things. Mr. Drake Lovega said, you know what? I had given you enough period of time, but I don't now want your money. I don't want this money anymore. I'm now putting a new tenant and I'm now tired of your all, all your shenanigans. So, Miss Ruth Lovega now, Miss Ruth Nalovega now went to court and their case appeared before 
Justice Musa Sekana. Now, Justice Sekana in this recent High Court decision stated that a landlord, or the landlord in this case who was Mr. Francis Drake Lovega, had the right to enter into his pre into his own building or into the premises which Ruth Nalvega was entering, especially the fact that it was locked and she had not paid rent arrears for a very long time. Now, in his ruling, he said you, a landlord can enter into these premises and break into them, especially if he finds it locked and you have not paid rent for a considerable amount of time. Now, according to this high court decision, a considerable amount of time was not stipulated, like maybe it should be three months or two months or six months. They just said, he said an unreasonable amount of time. So therefore, according to this new high court decision, it is stated that a landlord can now come and reclaim his rental space, removing out your things, especially if, let's say, you have locked it for like two, three months. No matter what the situation is, he's stating that a landlord has a right to be able to receive his rent and he should not be able to play games here and there with him. So therefore, he has a right to enter his premises with or without your consent if you have locked it for a good amount of time and you've defaulted in rent arrears of about six months and above. So let's go and see what the Landlord and Tenancy Act says about this and then we can see where the future for landlords and tenants will actually go. <music> Now, the Landlord and Tenancy Act of 2022, according to Section 48, already gives the landlord the right to be able to come and enter their rental premises or their space, which they rented out to you, in case of anything or in case they feel the need to enter it. However, they should be giving you a formal notice of not less than 22 hours, or let's call it about two days. So, meaning that according to Section 48, they should be able to give you notice that, you know what, come Thursday or come this Thursday, if today is a Monday, come this Thursday. I'm going to be able to come into your rental space and open, maybe just to check routine, maintenance, to check how the condition of the house is, and then I can go back. However, according to Justice Sekana's new ruling, he's basically saying that a landlord now has a right to come and enter your premises, the premise that you've rented. If at all, you have not paid rent for a considerable amount of time and you've locked the premises for a good amount of time. This is what happened in the this case that has been happening between Ruth Nalovega and also Drake Francis Lovega. During this COVID period of time where most people are not working or earning, Ruth Nalovega had locked the premises for about six months and Drake Lovega was looking for his money and she was in a rent area of about 2.3 million Uganda shillings. She did not pay and it's not until when Drake Lovega came and then locked the premises and put in another tenant, then she paid the next day. That was Ruth Nalovega. And according to what the facts had actually stated, Justice Sekana actually told Ruth Nalovega that, by the way, you did, you, you, you paid for that, you paid for your rent arrears just to cover up for you not wanting to pay. And most of all, Justice Sekana was saying that this, this new decision that he has now stated is going to save landlords everywhere because let's face it, all Ugandans and all tenants everywhere, most of us have a, a habit of not paying or we're in rent arrears of like three to six months and we run around, we make the landlord run around with us, over calling us, checking on us, even getting their lawyer to come and ask for their rent. So this protects landlords. However, does this curtail my right to privacy? Now, this is on the side of the tenants. Yes, the high court judge has stated that he or she, that the high court judge has stated that any landlord has a right to enter the house in those given circumstances. However, if you're breaking into my rental space or you're now, you're forcefully entering because I've not paid you, does that violate my right to privacy? Are there other measures or other measures that the law has in place to be able to have, have a mutual agreement between the two of us? For example, before you break into my rental space, the one that you've rented out to me and I've paid for, could, couldn't we have, have exhausted mediation? Couldn't we have exhausted arbitration? Couldn't you have called me numerous times or given me several warnings? I think I ought to have been given a warning before you break into the rental space. I could be facing so many challenges, not that it's any of your problem, but the law has so many measures to take before you actually break into my rental space. Like I've said, we can use arbitration, we can use any form of alternative dispute resolution. But for you to choose to break into my rental space, I think it violates my right to privacy under the constitution. In accordance with the fundamentals or the foundations of law, any person has a right to sue or be sued. So even if the landlord has still evicted you according to this recent high court decision, or they have taken advantage of this high court decision, you can still sue the landlord in that even if this high court decision has come out in favor of the landlords, yes. But who is there to fight for the tenants? You can still take it upon yourself to then sue the landlord. Why? Because have they taken meticulous steps to be able to inform you that, you know what, you're, you're still in rent arrears. I'm going to evict you from my place at any time. I have another tenant who is on my case. I want you out of my premises. If at all you have exhausted all options, then you can 
evict this person. You can evict that. You can evict the tenant. So therefore, you can sue them on grounds that they have not followed all the due process to be able to evict you. Have they tried to contact you numerous times? Have they come to the premises many times? Have they taken it? Have they taken reasonable steps to be able to inform you that I'm in rent arrears? Have they tried mediation? Because a reasonable landlord would actually try and keep would try and have continuity with the tenant. Have they tried mediation? Have they tried arbitration? Have they tried all measures before they actually evict you? So yes, you can actually still sue the landlord even if his high court decision has happened. And like I always say, decisions can always be overturned maybe in the Court of Appeal or Supreme Court. I don't know whether Ruth, Nalovega and Drake will actually go to the Court of Appeal. But let's just see where everything goes. I mean, you truly Terry Kahuma. Please hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. And most importantly, if you ever find yourself being evicted by a landlord, please check out my legal mobile App called Famiron. Famiron is an app that connects people and lawyers together, offering a multitude of other services, making access to justice and finding a lawyer very easy. On Famiron, you can find lawyers that will help you with whatever issue you have. Either your landlord has evicted you without notice, or you want some sort of mediation between you and your landlord, or you have a land issue, or you have a family issue, whatever the issue is, please go onto the Famiron app and then find a lawyer who will help you with any situation that you have, any problem that you have. As our motto goes, lawyer at your fingertips. So you can be able to get a lawyer that will help you with whatever legal problem you have. Please download Farmer now on Android and Apple Play Store and be able to get justice at your fingertips. And most importantly, a lawyer at your fingertips at any place, any time. So until next time, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And most importantly, let's also look at these different playlists and different videos which will help you in your day-to-day -day life. Until next time, I'll see you.